Hey friends, Ash here with Gent Sense. Hope you're doing really well. Very recently, I went to my local Ross and TJ Maxx's looking for decent fragrances. Usually, they don't have all that much. But I did find a couple fragrances this time that I needed for my collection. And in today's video, I'm gonna unbox those and give a first impression on them. So let's go ahead and just jump into this and check these fragrances out. Like I said, I went to both TJ Maxx and Ross's, my local stores. Usually TJ Maxx is better. They usually have higher quality stuff. Ross is usually not that good. But this time, TJ Maxx didn't really have anything. So Ross's is where I found some stuff. TJ Maxx had a whole bunch of those fragrances that don't even have boxes. They just slap the price sticker on the bottle and they're just like, whatever, man. If you want it, buy it. If you want to steal it, I don't even care. I'm not even going to stop you. I feel like that's what happens a lot of times. People just steal those. Or people will come into the store and then spray themselves 55 times with the fragrance and then leave. So if you do want to buy it, you pick it up and it's got gunk all over it where like the fragrance has leaked over the bottle and it's missing this much. Ugh. Uh, enough of all that stuff. Let's go ahead and go over what I actually bought. First up, this one, Lacoste Live. Got this for $19.99, smaller bottle size, 40 mils, and uh, they didn't really take very much care of this box. It's all smashed up. And what's funny about this is this is a fairly small box, and this was in the largest plastic container that they had. Because at Ross, they'll put the fragrances inside of a little plastic container and they unlock it when you bring it up to the uh, register to check out. So this thing was just bouncing all around there like a pinball and got jacked. The other fragrance, which is also completely jacked box-wise, Lacoste Booster, $24.99 on this one. This one though, 125 mils, so you get a lot more. And I'm pretty sure that this was a return. And I probably could have asked them to take some money off and give it to me for less, but I didn't. Because this box is all beat up and there's no cellophane sticker just slapped on the side. Now each of these fragrances I'm familiar with, but it's been a while since I've smelled them. I had them years and years ago and I, I actually gifted both of them away. But now I own them again. So we're gonna revisit them and this time they're gonna stay in the collection. Probably. Let me go ahead and unbox live and then I'll show you the presentation. Like I said, $19.99 the price on this one. So here is a look at the box. Like I said, a little bit busted up. They didn't really treat this one with love and care and attention. They just punished it, threw it into that big box and let it get jacked up. 40 mil size. Name of the fragrance again on the back and on the top, just in case you forgot. And there's the bottom for you. Batch code 0311. And here she is straight out of the box. Lacoste Live. 40 mil size bottle, there's the bottom for you. Cap does click into place. The cap weighs nothing, but I actually do like the presentation. I probably could have done for a bigger bottle, but this was the only one that they had. And I remember that this one has kind of a, a cola smell to it, a little bit of a, a cola vibe. Let's go ahead and spray it on. Yeah, a little bit of like a Slightly spicy cola. It smells nice in the opening. That's what I remember about this one. This one's got a really simple note breakdown. It's got lime in the top, and then it has watery notes and green notes in the mid, and then licorice and guyac wood in the base, and depending on where you look, some places also say iris. The opening is really nice. It's actually got a, a tiny touch of licorice in the background, and I think that's what helps give some of that, that sort of soda feel. That it has. Interestingly enough, Lacoste Live, if you look this up online, people don't really like it. <laughs> you go to Perfumo or uh, Fragrantica, anything like that, there is a whole bunch of hate for this fragrance. People don't dig it. The opening though is really not bad. Pretty pleasant. I like it. Little pops of spiciness or what smells like spiciness. There's no real spices in the note breakdown. It's warm. It's sweet and it has that sort of effervescence to it, a little bit of a sparkle, it's nice. If I remember correctly, the dry down is not as good as the opening, and the dry down, it starts to fall apart a bit, and that's where this one gets a decent amount of hate, because the opening is actually pretty good for an inexpensive fragrance. If you go online though, you will see a lot of hate for this fragrance right here, a lot of people not digging it. And you'll see people writing reviews that say things like, I sprayed Lacoste Live on, and then my car broke down, my house caught on fire, and my wife left me. And then I sprayed Dior Homme Intense on, and 
my wife came back to me and I won the lottery. And then I just bought a new house and a new car. And I'm just saying actually that some people exaggerate a little bit. That's the moral of the story. It's not a very good story. So yeah, opening on this one, good. I like it. Dry down, eh. At least for memory. I've sprayed it on now, so I'm about to relive it, and we'll see if my memory's correct. Up next, booster. Let's go ahead and check this one out. There's a good look at the box for you guys with that crocodile action wrapping around, and a nice little hole punched into the box right here. And that's why I think this is a return. It's kind of busted up, and like I said, no cellophane, and they just slapped a sticker on. So if I had to guess, somebody bought this, sprayed it on and said, hey, this sucks, I'm gonna take it back. Here we go, Lacoste Booster. I've always liked these bottles. I mean, it's super simple looking, got this nice frosted look and a, an interesting atomizer that looks kind of like an air horn or something. But I do like them. And as instructions inside the box, just in case you can't figure it out. It's very difficult. I'm gonna explain it to you here really quickly. So, it can be turned to the side, and then, oh, I can't get it to spray, I don't understand. Don't worry, take a look right here. Yeah, you see that little indentation? Here's what you do, turn it. Now you can spray, that's a pro tip. But it took a long time to learn that, and I'm glad they put the instructions there, but just in case the instructions are hard to follow, I got you. Let's go ahead and spray it on. Great atomizer, that was sarcasm, it sucks. Yeah, that's how I remembered. <laughs> a really big blast of eucalyptus and mint right off the top. Really big. This one is really green. Really, really green. It's got basil in here. Again, eucalyptus, it's got mint. It has citrus, but the citrus is, is pretty much swallowed up by that eucalyptus and by that mint right off the top. It has a woodsy base in here, vetiver, cedar, sandalwood. So just straight up woods in the base of the scent. This one is made to be a springtime fragrance or an early summer fragrance, when everything is blooming outside, everything is turning green, you grab this, you spray it on, you just get hit with this big blast of, of freshness and briskness and a little bit of mentholation off the top, and it really helps kind of energize you and put you in a, a good frame of mind. It does though have a little bit of a cheap smell to it, definitely comes across synthetic. <laughs> this is not gonna you know, fool anybody into thinking you're wearing a high-end supernatural fragrance at all. It does smell a little bit old school, so younger guys probably not gonna like that one quite as much. It's gonna appeal more, I think, to people middle-aged and older. It's an interesting one for my collection, more so though for the bottle. Am I gonna wear this all that often? No, I'm not. And that one as it dries down is actually a little bit less interesting to me. And you know what? Live is way better than Booster, at least right now. This is in the opening part of the mid. It's way better, way better. I'm gonna keep wearing it. Like I said, memory tells me that the dry down was not that great, but right now, I really like it. So we'll see, we'll see. Maybe I'll do a follow up on that one. Booster, a little old school, very green, fresh, synthetic. I think you can find it online for like 20, 25 bucks. That's what it smells like. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up. My two pickups from Ross, Live and Booster. As of right now, Live, Hands down, hands down is my choice between these two. I remember that cola smell, but right now this is coming across really nice, warm and sexy. It still smells like it's got a little spice in there. Not very green, I know it has green notes, but not coming across overly green. So this is filmed way after I finished shooting the first impressions, kind of an update on this one right here. So I was completely wrong on this. Does not fall apart into the dry down. Actually smells really nice the whole way through. Opening mid and dry down. A little more interesting in the opening and mid though. Initially you get that nice lime blast. You get that warm, sweet, kind of spicy cola thing going on. Really, really nice. And the dry down becomes more about woodiness, like warm woods and the licorice. But it is good, actually. Like really nice. Went upstairs, had my wife smell it, and she was like, wow, I actually like that a lot. She didn't know what it was, but she liked it. And that's what's most important. So Lacoste Live, I was wrong. I was wrong when I said that I thought it turned into complete trash. It doesn't. It's not projecting really heavily at this point. It's been on my skin for a few hours, but it smells really nice. For 20 bucks, can't complain at all. So there we go, Lacoste Live, Lacoste Booster. If you smelled either of these, let me know what you think about them in the comments below. I'm gonna keep wearing them and maybe follow up in the future with a review or something like that to let you know how they turned out. This one right now, 
actually surprisingly good, better than I remembered. Booster, pretty much how I remembered. Old school, green, clean, a little bit of throwback vibe and pretty synthetic. And Lacoste Live, actually warm, sweet, sexy, spicy, even though there's not really any spices in the note breakdown. All right, that's gonna do it for me. If you smell those, let me know what you think about them in the comments below. As always, thanks for hanging out with me today. Stay safe out there, I'll see you tomorrow. Another fragrance video, we'll see you guys.